So we're starting off in North Shore this evening. And just in front is the iconic North Pier. What a marvellous job they do lighting up the pier. And I really think this is the most beautiful of the three piers. This has been the location for the International Fireworks Competition over the last few years. All changed this year though. As you can see, the Queen, we will rock you. putting on fantastic events all year round. And as you might be able to see down the far end there, the renovated Bloom Bar. That's a marvellous location to host your parties, events, meet your friends. It really is a lovely, a lovely venue, very swanky. Uh, great job done by all there. So congratulations, Bloom Bar. Uh, absolutely rocking it. There we go, you see the new hotel there in the center. Just opposite from the counting house. And the lovely new look Ibis Hotel, where they've been spending a few quid doing up the exterior on that. So we're all very excited. The illuminations are coming. And the tower lit up in all its splendour. Not doing too bad, is it, for an old gal? 127 years old this year? I have to say, looking better than ever. The improvements and advancements on the lighting over the years have been pretty incredible. advertising at the moment about the live stream going out tomorrow having the official switch on streamed live on Visit Blackpool and I do believe uh, YouTube and don't hold me to it, but I know MTV were involved in previous years, so it could be again. <laughs> Marvellous Vegas venue just across the road. You'll never be sorry you missed a show there. And we have a new venue in town. So a new must-see, must-visit establishment. Papa's Fish and Chips. 
very swanky and absolutely delicious by all accounts. Now every year Blackpool puts on a few additions to the illuminations. This year is no exception. So just past the registry office there and the beach house. If you haven't been to the beach house, you should treat yourself for that special occasion. Or if you're loaded, every other night really. Wonderful food, fantastic service. And what have you got ahead here? We've got the tunnel of lights. So once again, Blackpool innovating, creating new opportunities for people to enjoy the experience. No resting on their laurels here. Every year brings new sites to enjoy, experiences. Look at that, yeah. Looks like the tunnel of love to me. Maybe the time warp. Lose yourself. Isn't that magnificent? So you can see North Pier lit up in the distance there. How marvellous are those lights twinkling in the, in the background. And now just walking past the tower. Showing lots of love with the big little farts on it. How about that? MTV. And I'm just approaching the comedy carpet now. You can see the big wheel on central pier in the distance. So here's where it's all going to be happening, where all the activities taking place. Lights being switched on by the one and only Shirley Ballas, Britain's own dancing queen. We've all come to know and love Shirley over recent years as the head judge on Strictly Come Dancing. She won't have any messing about, let me tell you. But she says goes. Quite right too. my uh, cameras doing justice to these wonderful lit domes ahead of us. Is that not a sight to behold? Just across the road there, oh, sorry it's in the darkness, is the new hotel. I think it's the new the Sands Hotel was. So, um, and the new spy bar. The new spy bar is very exciting. What with the premiere of the new James Bond film coming up next week. Might have to make a trip to the new spy bar. Oh, 
Oh, these installations are absolutely fantastic. I hope you can see that lit up in the distance there. The I Love Blackpool sign really is uh, a credit. Absolute a credit and um, joy. That's off to the creative team for the illuminations this year. Every year they uh, do a wonderful job, I have to say. But maybe this year just feels that little bit more special because of the long days. The racing LEDs going across. Of course, this is not the lights in all their glories yet. We'll have to wait for that. So we have Carl Island across the road. lit up in its usual magnificence. Oh. Let's hope the spy glass, which is just opposite, just down from the Wild West Diner, let's hope the spy glass is a bit more illuminated next year. I know spies like to keep things secret, but honestly, that's ridiculous. Talk about going incognito. <laughs> Donuts, hot dogs, slushies. You name it, if it contains sugar, it will be sold over there. And totally delicious, every little bit of it is as well, let me tell you. Now, you may hear a bit more uh, traffic noise because I'm just walking a little bit closer to the road to give you more of a view. Fortune telling still available for those in the know. Just coming up to the Golden Mile amusements. Although some of these establishments have been here for a long time, there's no guarantee they're going to be here forever. So make the most of it when you come to Blackpool. Coral Island never let you down with their displays. Really imaginative, creative, uh, wonderful themes going on inside. Sooty, sweet, Sue, all the old favourites here. I say old favourites, I'm sure the children love them just as much today as past generations have. And in the distance there, central, central pier with the big wheel. Doesn't that look spectacular, right? The new exterior for sea life. Ooh, for those of you that haven't been to Blackpool for a year or two, let me tell you, that's all singing, all dancing now. Really have made the most of that. Look at those big screens up there. 
part of it feels like you're looking in a fish tank. Well done Sea Life, that is absolutely fantastic. We seem to have a bit of an emergency going on here, we've got a few blue flashing lights coming down. Hope those people are going to be okay. Sad to report that the Star Trek exhibition is no longer open. That was such a shame, that was a great exhibition on there. And then we've got Funland, amusements, prize bingo. What's not to love about that? And big thumbs up to all of the NHS, the carers, the key workers. Big thank you. Wonderful to see that those essential workers all being given recognition in the illuminations this year. Just coming up to one across the street now with the blue flashing NHS sign and the hearts either side of it which is great to see. And there, the traditional fish and chip shop, eating, takeaway. Beautiful fish and chips in there. You can see our picturesque illuminated carriages coming to their terminus, just turning around. Time to pick up new passengers time to let the let those who have already just done the tour off and we have madam two swords across the road i'm just gonna get a little bit of um critique here what a shame what a letdown madam two swords all those opportunities there to illuminate to play the game and they're just relying on street lights on what is quite frankly a mediocre screen there to advertise their wares what a shame I would say for anyone coming to Blackpool, that is a must-see visit. So it's uh, along with sea life. They're amazing places, so much fun. Take the kids. Have such a great day out. For those of you with pets in mind, we've got a lovely little doggy cafe there. Dogs are welcome. So if you're looking for somewhere to eat or drink and you've got your pooch, just bring it along. And now, just as we're approaching Central Pier, Pirates Bay Family Bar, also the Show Bar. the great things about Blackpool is you don't have to rush home of an evening you can stay out late and enjoy yourself really is lit up so well. In the distance we have all of the chandeliers and the lights running down. Yeah. 
Webster's Coffee House Bar and Grill. That's been given a facelift. Wonderful to see all of this investment coming into Blackpool. Ooh. Might have to try out Webster's, it looks very nice in there. And of course the Fun Palace. Another opportunity for you to win your fortune. Enjoy a flutter. Speaking of enjoying a flutter, did you know Red Rum turned the lights on one year? Yeah, over the years been many famous celebrities, film stars, coming to Blackpool to do us the honour. Yeah, one on one year, Red Rum done the honour. Along with Shirley um, turning the lights on tomorrow, they've also got uh, a few other artists with them. So KSI, KSI who's had such an impact on YouTube, will be um, performing along with Ella Henderson. The Wombats, Wombats of course headlined Reading and Leeds Festival this year, so really having a cracking year. And Wes Nelson. Some of you may remember the very handsome Wes Nelson from his time on Love Island. The very intelligent nuclear something or other engineer, physicist, who's gone on and been creating award-winning music. So, there's a man that keeps on challenging himself. And succeeding on so many different levels. You can also check out Wes Nelson on YouTube. It's a uh, fabulous recordings there. Well, I can't express enough the sense of excitement there is on the evenings during the illuminations coming down under the lights. Really is a credit. Now, speaking of musical stars, of course we've had a few of those in the past turning on the lights. Famously the Bee Gees one year. And so many of the boy band singers, uh, Gary Barlow, Robbie Williams, Ronan Keating, Lots of them have been along to turn the lights on over the years. Jerry Halliwell doing it for the girls. And I'm sure Jerry would also tip her cap to Dame Shirley Bassey when she came along and turned the lights on one year. Not to be outdone, there's been a whole host of comedians. Our very own Peter Kay has done the honours. We've had Alan Carr. One year we had the whole group from Dad's Army coming to turn the lights on. Dad's Army, that famous sitcom about the Home Guard in the Second World War. Still continue to delight generations and generations of people with that well written, well acted, well directed series.
of course we've had a few local boys as well Les Dawson came along one year from up the road in St Anne's turn the lights on our very own Ken Dodd God rest him did the honours for us around and show you the the tower there in all its glory and it said um, 127 years old Never look better. The tower, when it was built all those years ago, was well up ahead of its time. So it's actually designed to sway in the wind. I know it's shocking to some of you that we do have windy days occasionally in Blackpool. But the tower was built with similar technology that they use now in places like Japan in case of earthquakes that allow the buildings to move and stay in position during um, extreme conditions have the Manchester bar just opposite just on the corner of Lytham Road there So you can watch all of this live, as I said, on the 3rd of September on the Visit Blackpool on the Visit Blackpool official site and I think also MTV may be doing their bit again this year. The lights staying on this year, not just for the six weeks, but for three months until the 3rd of January. So we can look forward to those dark winter evenings being lit up with these spectacular lights. giving Blackpool the opportunity to have an even longer season which I'm very pleased to see they'll say that will be beneficial for all the businesses so I've lost so much over the past few years just going to stand and just see if we can show us the Light change colour and race along. Really is a credit to all involved. So, relatively quiet evening. Tonight, 
But I imagine it will be the last quiet evening for quite a while. Because once those lights are officially switched on, traffic will be a little bit heavier. My way of saying it would be bumper to bumper. I'd just do a longer video this evening just to show you just a taster of what's to come. We had Ride the Lights in Blackpool earlier in the week. The official switch on from the 3rd of September. And another date for the diaries is the St Anne's Kite Festival. So it's been extended this year. This year it's on for the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So Friday later afternoon, once it's all set up, weather conditions permitting, And then this Saturday, this Sunday, from 11.30 till 5.30 on the Saturday and 11.30 to 4.30 on the Sunday. And that really is a sight to behold with all those kites in the air.